Hi, my name is Mr. McEwen, and I'm going to go through today how to make notes from a video lesson. So, in this quick PowerPoint presentation, I'm going to outline to you why good note taking is important, highlight the equipment that you need in order for them to be successful, and then describe the different ways in which we can take notes effectively. So, Reasons why we need to encourage the learners to make good notes. Well, Oxford University stated that the better the notes, it will help the learners, one, remember concepts, two, develop meaningful learning skills, and three, develop a better understanding of the subjects they are studying. It also enables the learner to actively listen to what the teacher is saying. It makes them think about what they are writing. It helps them make more connections between different topics and it can help them with the revision process and help them prepare effectively for their exams. So once we've gone through the theory as why they need to be able to make good notes, we need to look at the practicalities. So the first thing that learners need is a notebook, preferably different notebooks for different topics. If they haven't got notebooks, then encourage them to use the class books from home. They should also have coloured pens, so having access to different coloured pens can encourage the learners to highlight important key terms and correct misconceptions. It can also be a good way of signposting which areas they need to come back to and revise. Highlighters are another key tool so that they can keep subject topics the same and again highlight keywords and concepts. A pencil to make visual notes and a ruler to underline headings and keep the notes neat. So there are different methods of taking notes and the best thing for the learners to do and for you as a parent to do is to encourage the learners to experiment with these variety of different ways and then work out which one it works out the best for them. So we've got the Cornell method, the mapping method, the outlining method, the charting method, the sentence method and the visual method and I'm going to go through each one of those with you today. So the Cornell method, how we work that is we divide the paper into three sections. We've got a little bit of a margin, one in the margin, just extended out from the margin, a main bit in the middle of the page, and then at the bottom of the page, we have a summary. So the idea is that the main section is to take notes during the class. We use the bit on the left-hand side in the margin to write cues, so that could include key vocabulary, questions that you want to ask from the lesson. And then finally, we've got a summary bit at the end, which is where at the end of the lesson, you would summarise in perhaps five main points or less than that or more than that about what is the key information from that lesson. So there's a variety of different templates that you can use and I've attached a link there so that you can have a look at them. The next method is the mapping method, which is um, during the lesson, you would write the main topic at the top of your mapping and then you would place subtopics below and, um, that all relate to the main topic. Then you've got the charting topic whereas the, the page is divided into columns and labelled by category and then you write about each um, topic in each of the columns, each of the different columns. The next method is the sentence method, where you write down important information that teachers emphasise. This can be done in sentence form or point form. So you'll start a new sentence or point for each new detail, and you'll use the headings to organise the main topics. And then lastly, we've got the visual note-taking method, which is where we use pictures to represent the key terms and words that we are learning about. So I'm going to show you a quick example now. Here is the um, functions of the skeletons. This is a topic that we cover in GCSE PE, and I'm going to show you all the different methods, but looking at one main theme. So the topic is functions of the skeleton. So this one here is the Cornell method of taking notes. So if we can see on the left-hand side, we've got keywords, vocabulary, and review questions. The next bit, the main section of the page, is all the main notes from the lesson that have been taken whilst watching the video. And then at the end, uh, with the, the bottom of the page, we've summarised the main concepts and learning about the functions of the skeleton. 
So I think this method is really beneficial because it makes the learners really think about what needs to go in each section. And then at the end, it requires them to review the learning and consolidate it. We've then got the mapping method. So this is the same topic, but it's broken down into little subtopics. So this is less information uh, on your sheet, but still can be an effective way of just structuring your notes. Then we've got the charting method. So again, it's the same topic, but under each heading, notes are made about un under each heading. So you divide the page up into the um, topics and then you write the relevant information underneath each topic. And then lastly, we've got the sentence method, which is where we just pull out uh, the key bits of information and write them and list them in sentences. And then finally, um, please don't judge the drawings, but finally we've got a visual method of note taking. So again, it's the same topic, but it's just a different way of taking down those notes. So to summarise, we need to encourage all the learners to be prepared and have the right equipment to take the notes for the video's lessons. We need them to use the pauses to make notes. And finally, we want them to just experiment with the different methods of taking the notes and finding out which one works best for them. Um, so it's just a, you know, it's a, a case of them of you encouraging them to explore. Okay, hope that was some useful information for you. Um, if you'd like any more information about that, you can drop me an email. My name is Mrs. McEwen. And um, yeah, just let's let's get behind them being independent and um, really developing that agency that when they go to university or college, they've got the learning skills that they need to be successful. Okay, thanks very thanks for listening. Bye.